Hello. Ah. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. Hello. It's so good to be here, isn't it? As we begin every session. Welcome. I thought uh, of starting this incredible day, this Tuesday, right after Holy Weekend, uh, with a little bit of uh, an upbeat song, and it's Can't Stop the Feeling. Hmm. Well, what feelings can you not stop? Today we're going to be talking about feelings, good, bad, right, wrong, it doesn't matter. As uh, we begin this week, what I was going to be talking about is uh, feelings of pain and uh, acceptance and acknowledgement. But more importantly, I want to begin with the three E. Everything that I do in my sessions is... uh, Start with the three E. And what it means is acknowledge what was. It's actually evoke what was. That means everything from our past, instead of being upset about the things we have done or celebrating everything we have done, is to evoke it and bring forth to this very moment. And... uh, say thank you to all our experiences in our life. And then we come to acknowledge. And uh, by acknowledging means we accept the reality, accepting where we are right here, right now. And everything in the past has been a part of our experience that has brought us to this very moment then we get to evolve to what it is that we want. It's not always about goal setting, but having a vision of what is it that you expect of yourself instead of other people's expectation. So as a clinical hypnotherapist, when I have a client or when I even work on myself, is first to acknowledge where I am, and then to go past and see the patterns that has helped me get where I am and where is it that I want to go in my life, to expand my business, to expand my workshops, where is it that I want to be? What is the bottom line? I had a client come in the other day and wanted to understand so many aspects of hypnosis. And yesterday, at, in front of my office, there was a lady who came in looking for someone else. And when I told her I have no idea who that person is, she was uh, adamant about why is it that I don't know? Apparently, this person is quite famous in our community. And again, saying that I don't know who she is, She asked me what I do. When I said I do hypnotherapy and stress management, she was taken back about hypnotherapy and said, "Uh, but explain, is that Freudian? Well, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist, not a psychologist, not an expert in Freudian. So what is hypnosis? So many have a wrong connotation about what hypnosis and hypnotherapy is all about. So let me explain. Just imagine in your own point of vision that this is your mind. Our mind is in two parts, actually in three parts, and I'll explain easily right now. Consciously, because there is the conscious and subconscious, and in the middle, a critical factor. Consciously, we look, listen, and learn. Just like as if I'm looking at a video camera, and the video camera, 
through the lens I look at everything. The video camera, just like this one, is also capturing every sound and everything that I say. So even if I were to... Hmm... All the sounds being captured. And no matter where you are that you are listening to this video, if there is any sounds in the background in your own from your side, you also hear that while you're watching this video. Now, while that is happening, the video camera, a part of that is also capturing. So the capturing part of that video is a part of the conscious. So it looks, it listens, and it learns. Where does all that go? It goes into the subconscious part. And subconscious mind of ours does three things as well. It looks, listens, and learns, and it gets to the subconscious. Where is that little chip of the video camera which is our subconscious mind that stores all the information. Number one. Number two, it recalls just like a video camera when you do a rewind or forward or pause and play. That's what the subconscious mind does. Because everything from day one, from the day that you were born, every touch, every scent, every, every sound has already been incorporated within you within that subconscious that got stored in that little chip, which is the subconscious mind of yours. And the third thing that it does for you is regulates your entire bodily function. So what happens when we go into hypnosis? Let me say that hypnosis is an internal process. No hypnotherapist has full-on control over you. We guide you. We are the bridge taking you from the conscious level into the subconscious level. In between the conscious and subconscious, there is a fine line called the critical factor, which helps you analyze and judge and criticize and reason and all of that aspect of analyzing, reasoning, judging, criticizing. If that was not there, it would be a quite a full-on filter and you would be overwhelmed with all plethora of information that is stored in that little chip within us. Hmm. So when we do the hypnosis is the relaxing part, relaxing you consciously from mind and body either progressively or rapid induction. So as a hypnotherapist, there's two ways we do the hypnosis and taking someone from the conscious level to the relaxation part. So you don't get hypnotized right away, but what you become is you relax right away. That part the hypnosis part comes as we take you into a deeper state so you can tap within yourself. See, we're not tapping, helping our clients tap anywhere else. Also, here's the difference. I am a clinical hypnotherapist. That means what I do is mostly therapy work. There is hypnotists that specialize in stage hypnosis and that's what their specialty is you've seen them they line up about 5 10 30 people and they take them into that state of hypnosis right away and what is that induction it is a whole different levels of doing it and everyone goes drops into that state of relaxation into hypnosis that hypnotic state it's a state, it's a trance state that we all go through every single day. Believe it or not, every time that you zone in in front of the TV, 
or a movie, perhaps your computer, or you watch QVC or a football game. When you are playing any game, either a tennis or soccer, you are concentrated on that ball, on that game. When you're cooking, you're doing this. When you're steering, you're doing this. When you're on your phone and texting, nothing else matters because you are focused only on that one thing. That focused attention is a trance state. You are in trance, driving from one place to another. Once you know how to get to that place and you don't even think twice about it, guess what happens? You go into trance state. So why go to a hypnotherapist? Because we tap into the parts, the files that has been stored and locked in that archive, that little chip of yours that you may need to modify, edit, or change a behavior that is no longer necessary, that is no longer benefiting you, and that's why we take you into a state to open the file into the subconscious, to open that chip, rewind it, to go to that timeline that it started in order to edit that information. And then once you evoke it, which is go back, evoke the information, hmm, what a concept. And then you acknowledge it. Ah, this is why I started doing this. This is why I did it. This is why I no longer want it. Does that make sense? Okay. Thank you. Thumbs up. Once we have that, then we turn around and say, okay, now what is it that I want in my life? You know, when people come and say, I don't want to do this anymore, my question is, but what is it that you want to feel and do instead? If that thing that your new goal, your new vision of what it is that you want to be, you want to do, you want to feel, if that thing is not full of energy and if it's not better than where you are right now, hmm. Guess what? You're going to stay where it is. You're going to keep doing this because whatever it is that you want, it's not far greater than where you are right now. And it can be a feeling. It can be whatever it is because something is holding us there. And it's through hypnotherapy that we tap into the feeling, the decision. The behavior that we have that is holding us here. You can call it a wall, you can call it a block, uh, which if it's a wall, we chip away into the wall. If it's a block, we unblock it. If it's a curtain, we open the curtains so that you can see. And once we acknowledge it, then we can evolve, which is transforming. Also, there's two ways that change happens. One, the pain of where we are is so bad that we no longer want to stay here. Or the pleasure, the benefit, the reward is so far greater that we can't wait to have it. That said, let me tell you about what hypnosis is not. A lot of people have this misconception that if they are hypnotized, they go to sleep. Thank you. Um, by the way, while you're listening to me, I must take my hat off to one of the greatest state hypnotists I've ever seen in my career and 
believe it or not, in a few months, I'm going to be celebrating 20 years of doing the work that I do with love and passion. And I'm proud to say that I am a hypnotherapist. And that is Michael Mesmer. Thank you, Michael. Michael is right here live with us. And if any of you is watching, check out Michael Mesmer because if if there is anyone that you want to witness doing any stage hypnosis that knows the intricate part of how fast you can drop into that state of hypnosis, that's him. So thank you, Michael, for being a part of my show. And I'm glad I'm explaining what we do in the right way. Now, back. Back to where we were. Yes, Robert. So true. Sometimes we do have to get to that pain state into realizing that this is no good anymore and I'm done hurting. I'm done feeling overweight. I'm done feeling pain in my body. I'm done feeling... Uh, anxious, angry. <laughs> I'm done feeling poor or whatever it is because I want to make a change in my life. You're welcome, Sanaz. Back to what hypnosis is not. Hypnosis is not about us having control over you because either on stage or in my uh, office, right here in the recliner, you must give consent. You give consent and permission to delve into or tap into that state of pure other relaxation, either rapid or progressive. Is the stage real? Yes, it is. From the moment that a hypnotist asks you to come up on stage, you raise your hand or you say, select me, you have given permission and consent to go into hypnosis. From the moment you make that call and from the moment you come into my office and you sit down and write the intake form and you come here and we have a dialogue with each other, and then I ask you, are you ready? You've already given the consent, but the last moment I ask for the consent again. Ready not to be hypnotized, but ready to tap within yourself, either for show, for entertainment, so that you can let go of your inhibitions, or tap within and do real therapy work. Either way, no one has control over you because you can open your eyes, get off the stage, you can stop the session and say, you know, frankly, I'm good. And that's okay because it's not about me. It's about you. So one, no, you're not asleep because at all times, either on stage or in my office, you hear everything just as you are listening to this recording right here, right now. Number two, no one has control over you. Number three, you will not say or do anything that it's against your own values or belief system. There is nothing ethical or unethical that I can do or say that you will not refuse. And if it's against your own moral judgment, you can stop and say, you know what? That's not resonating with me. It's not happening. And you can stop at any time. Another thing that a lot of people have a misconception that once they are in hypnosis that they get off, uh, they get they come to full conscious awareness or once they're off the stage that they will not remember anything. If there is an anchor and a hypnotic suggestion that has been given to you, 
it is never ever as hypnotherapists that are ethical and working what we do our best because we are professionals and that we value and respect our profession and we trust that what we are doing is always to help you either for you to have a time of entertainment but more importantly for the work that I do is to help you heal within you're always in charge and the suggestions that I give is for you to use those suggestions that helps you recall that every time you say a word and you choose the word see there is nothing that I will say or do that goes against your choice so I ask you is there a word or a, a secret scene or a place that you like to go or remember or a password that you have within yourself and you may not even say it to me but you respond yes that word becomes your anchor that word becomes the word that you choose to say or I may give you a word and you I will ask is that acceptable to you and if you say yes then that's the word that we use it as anchor so that it triggers you to remember the session or the change you want to make mind-body connection that every time you do this or you hear yeah it could be a word like orange blossoms so you can blossom like oranges and if any of you have been to any of my sessions and I say the words because orange blossoms it's like blossoming like oranges and I love to give that suggestion because it also triggers beauty blossoming oranges the feminine energy opening up citrus even connects with the scent you know there's so much beauty in blossoming because that's what I help you do. Blossoming is just like evoking, embracing, and as we peel away the orange, evolving. So that the orange, once we peel it, we come to the core of it, to the core of the orange and realizing if we are the orange or we see the orange so many of us have tasted orange in our lifetime even the orange itself is protected in that skin and in between there's all the layers right and just think of ours we have that protective shield that I call our body and if we are the core which is the orange we started like that seed the evolution the beginning of who we are and that seed is what created us and we are in so many facets if we are the orange we have so many facets about who we are hmm? that even each facet, each behavior, each habit of us is protected on its own. Because everything that we have done and who we have become has another layer to it. And if you peel that skin and open the orange and you see, oh, the beauty, the ridges of the orange, the beauty of it, and so many of us eat the seedless oranges. But it all starts with a seed that we plant in our life, in our heart, in our mind. You 
every part of you, every aspect of you that you have been protecting, every layer that has shielded you and protected you to this very moment. Sometimes we have to go and realize that the pains that we protect is exactly what we have to undo. Because there is a lot of the pain that when we look into, we realize it's all emotional pain that we just suppress. And we get to suppress so much of that pain, we forget what was the pain, and we are dealing with how we suppressed it, either with eating, drinking, smoking, cheating, gambling, drugs, painkillers, painkillers. <laughs> the things that we want to kill the pain is exactly what so many people get hooked on. So what do we do through hypnosis is help you tap within yourself and realize you are perfect with all your imperfections and you do matter every aspect every layer of you matters and what I do is help you tap in there tap within yourself tap to every single layer of that orange so that we can open this orange peel away and Validate who you are. So that when we rewind to that timeline that it started, that you took upon whatever it is, the behavior that it's no longer necessary or worthy of you, you do it in a more relaxed way. That we connect emotionally, physically, and mentally. And... Edit the information, close it, archive the first one, and continue life to this very moment. So let me give you a, an explanation. Been doing hypnotherapy for the last almost coming to 20 years, and I didn't even realize it because I've been practicing fully for about 15 years. But I got my certificate in 1997. Wow. And come September, I will be celebrating this. And thanks to my master who taught me hypnosis was Master Gil Boyne. Next week, on April 22nd, I will be doing a virtual hypnotherapy uh, class, our hypnotherapy conference. The reason I'm saying this is because I didn't realize for so many years that I've been practicing, I've been holding myself to that level of, it's not that I have not been promoting what I do, but owning for that, we must say, we go in and out of hypnosis every single day. So be proud of who you are. And it's not the labels. It's not uh, the titles that we hold, but the work we do. So I take my hat off. In everything that you do in your life and if there is any way I can help you break away the shields break away the layers and tap within yourself to heal to be better to be stronger to become thinner to become a non-smoker or to accept yourself fully and completely I'm here for you. 
Would you like to continue the journey with me? I'm here for you. To help you heal within. That's how I healed. I used hypnotherapy to heal myself. 20 years ago. And today, I'm proud to say I am here to be of service to you. Hello, Sujata. Hi, Rose. This is the end of my session for today. But if this was beneficial to you, and you believe that this session of peeling away the orange and blossoming like oranges and evoking, embracing, and evolving to all that you want to become in life because you do matter can benefit someone else. Please do share and do thumbs up or give me a call. Until our next session, I bid you goodbye and let us continue. That's right, I have many facets about me. Come on, dance with me. You're amazing. You're amazing, Rose. You've got the feeling, don't you? Now do something with it. Use the three E, peel away, and until next week, I bid you goodbye.